First of all, season two, there is a pickup. We're seeing season two. What does it feel like to be returning? Let me tell y'all, y'all don't understand how excited I am. This has been an amazing weekend. We got the announcement about the return, and yesterday actually was, um, I was honored with an honorary doctorate at my, my old college. And so I was like, this is the best weekend ever, like to get this news and to tell my whole school, to tell everybody, my whole family, to celebrate uh, with Laura, just to know that we have a second season and people get to see more of the Wonder Years like they need to see, it's the best. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited because we had such a great time filming season one with an amazing cast and crew and being able to share those amazing stories and now that we get to do it even longer is incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, for the season finale this Wednesday, what can we expect from both of you? Ooh. I think you, you can expect to see um, Lillian standing up for herself, asking for what she wants out of life, um, uh, and see what, what Bill thinks about that. Yes. <laughs> I think you'll get to see even more shenanigans with Kim and Dean that I can't wait for people to see. Yeah. Yeah. Shenanigans. Yes. Shenanigans. And we go from shenanigans to a little more serious of a question. I was a big fan of the Wonder Years growing up in the 80s and being a kid of the 80s. And it's so refreshing to see this show and seeing people like myself and others and my friends on this series now. How important is representation, especially for a show like this? Yes. I'm so thrilled that we're able to um, have the Wonder Years and have a black family on the Wonder Years. I think it's really important for people to know that during that era, there were other types of families, you know, living and representing and enjoying life and that black people in that era were still going to the mall, still going to high school dances. Um, you know, everything wasn't just about uh, fighting for rights, but there, there was genuine enjoyment of life that was still happening. And so I'm pleased for people to see us in this environment, in the environment of family dinner, parties, you know. Yeah. Picnics. All of it. Yeah. All of the barbecues. All of it. Like yeah. people to see, you know, in EJ they get to see Black Boy Joy, you know, and I'm so proud of that every single time. Um, we have Alan Maldonado who's Afro-Latino and I'm excited that he gets to represent, you know, he plays Coach Long. He is hilarious. Yes. <laughs> um, and one of my good friends, Charity, uh, is I just get to enjoy seeing all of these families interacting, um, our co-stars. Uh, we had um, the Bar Mitzvah episode, which was really amazing to have. I think it's good that we're able to show different parts and different facets from that era. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in addition to what she's saying, just having people see people who look like them on TV is incredible and it's such important. an honor. Yeah. And there's nothing more important, especially after what we've experienced this weekend, how important it is to see families like this on television and change the narrative. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Have a great second season. And I'm sure we'll see you during award season, definitely. Yay, thank you. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you.